All right, Shalom, Yasharala, Shalom, Kohalayim, La, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakradash, double honors to our elders and elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akiyam out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners, and a strong Shalom to the Akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Okay, this is your brother, Amoth Yahai is from Yahawada. Amoth Yahai is from Yahawada. Okay, I wanted to add in on um, uh, on these uh, these Israelites, uh, Nick Cannon, uh, Ice Cube, and of course, Deshaun Jackson. You know, uh, obviously, you know, uh, these brothers have been watching the true men of the Lord. The the real Hebrew Israelites, not the Israelis, and nothing like that, okay. And uh, speaking speaking of certain truths, and you know, uh, being criticized for being anti-Semitic, uh, which furthermore, there's no such word Semitic or, or Sem or uh, Semitic in the in the Bible, man, in the scriptures. It's Shem, S H E M, Shem. OK, and the cars arts are not the true people for one and for, for two. There are, are uh, eight Shemitic nations, man. Ishmael, the uh, uh, the East Indians, was, which is El Elamites, Syrians, us, us Syrians, Japanese, Chinese, and of course uh, Esau and, you know, us Israelites, man. Okay, so you know that lie that y'all had for eighty plus years is 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 uh been been uncovered, man. So get over it. And I'm gonna go into a few precepts on uh how that with with what these uh brothers have spoken about and what they have what they have foretold, regardless if uh, the information that Deshaun Jackson have gotten from that from that book that Hitler quoted that which he, you know, with the uh. The elder Kazakh uh, brought forth, which is correct. You know these these devils are proud and pompous. They ain't gonna admit it, man. They ain't gonna <clears throat> Salaki. They ain't gonna admit it until they in change in the, in the kingdom, man. Okay. But you know, furthermore, I also want to say these celebrities uh, watch us, and like I said, you know, we, we're the, we're the true celebrities, man. Us men of the Lord, we're the true celebrities. But you know. Uh, I got a message for y'all celebrities, man. If y'all if y'all gonna sit right here and, and say that we are the true people of, of the scriptures, man, stand firm on it, man. Don't sit right here and apologize for your heritage. For you telling the truth, man. A lie is only for the moment, man. Okay? Matter of fact, let's bring that out. Let's bring that out, man. Because you know, you gotta stand firm for what you believe, man. Okay? You can't you can't sit right here. This this kingdom is done, man. Okay? This is Proverbs chapter 12, verse 19. The lip of truth shall be established forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. Okay? I think I got something else to line that up with to back that up. Salakia. Nah, we'll just keep on going. But um, I'm gonna bring out a few precepts, man. I'm gonna go to the curses, man. And you tell me who I ain't gonna I ain't gonna read the whole chapter. But you tell me who fits these curses and who are the true who who are the true people of your Hawa Shim, your Shai, man. Okay? The, the 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 jig is up, devil. The jig is up. And for y'all brothers to apologize for what y'all said, which is the truth. You know, you shouldn't have said nothing from from the get-go if you're not going to stand firm for for your nationality, your heritage, your rights. I thought I thought I thought uh, so-called America was a freedom of speech. And let me let me uh furthermore let you know, Jake, you ain't got no you ain't got no rights in this in this kingdom, man. You ain't got no rights in this kingdom, man. You you were brought here to be a slave. Well, let's 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 go ahead, man. Let's do the Romney chapter 28. I'm going to read verse 1 first. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, thy power, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy power will set thee 
on high above all nations of the earth. Okay? So you set thee above all nations on high of the earth, man. Above all people, man. Okay? Now let's go to verse 15 real quick. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, thy power to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Okay? So we curse, man. We are a cursed nation, man. There's nobody, nobody fits these descriptions of Deuteronomy chapter 8, man. But the so-called Negroes, so-called uh, uh, Latinos, Hispanics, and so-called Native and Seminole Indians, man. We fit these down to a T, okay? Now, and furthermore, uh, to you to you issues community people, answer me why y'all don't fit these curses, man. Why, why do these curses fit us, man? Okay? Let's read verse 16, and it reads this. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. Okay, uh, we we are cursed in 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 the cities, man. We we live in the lowest state, the projects, uh, piss 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 inf uh, infested uh, uh buildings, all the way through through the stairwells, needles everywhere from from uh from drug use, low housing, just 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 the worst parts of the city, man. And you know, curse we was cursing in in the cotton field and in, in the sugar cane fields. Curse, cursing the in the work field. First hired, last uh, uh, slock you. Uh, first fired, last hired. No equal pay. You know, you, you you got more skills than than these damn devils in the in the field that you're getting hired in, but yet they get that position. Ruled over you. Okay, verse seventeen. Curse shall thy curse shall thou basket in thy store. Verse 18, cursed shall the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land and the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy, sh of thy sheep. Okay, this fits us to a T, man. And Salaki, I want to get a, I'll get one, hold on, Salaki. Uh, where is that at? Where is it at? Let me read this one again right here. Uh, verse 17. Curse shall thy basket in thy, in thy store. Okay? You won't be able to get much. Won't be able, not, not enough food to feed everybody. Okay? And matter of fact, let's line that up. I got one that can go with that in Haggai. Where is that? Haggai chapter 1. Verse 6, and it reads this, Ye have so sown much, and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you. <clears throat> so like it, ye have sown much, and bring in little. Ye, ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And ye that earneth wages, earneth wages to put them into a bag with holes. Okay? A bag with holes. So that basically means everything that you're gaining in your, um, from your wages, from your job, is, is going back out to these devils, man. You barely, you, you barely have enough to pay for your bills, man. And let's, let's get another precept for that, man. Let's go to Baruch real quick. Because these, these, these are the curses, man. Nobody fits these curses but us, man. Nobody. Okay, uh, Baruch chapter 3, verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers which depart from the Lord our power. Okay? It's a curse, man. To, to, to be subject to these payments and to not have enough to feed our people our family to, to not have enough to, to, to clothe them, to give them the, the, the necessities that they need to survive in this wicked ass kingdom, man. This, this man, you, you, you people don't fit this, man. 
All right, let's let's keep on going, man. Let's go to uh back to Deuteronomy chapter 28. Let's uh let's go to verse 30. Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Thou shalt build an house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, and shall not gather the grapes thereof. Okay? And then that also goes into, you know, in, in slavery, you know, you, you got evil E coming in to get your wife when he wants to live with your wife. Come on, wench. You know what time it is. Come on. And just have his way with her, man. And there's nothing you can do about it. And if you say something about it, you will get killed, man. Okay, and and we 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 built we built everything, man. Washington D.C., the Mayans, the White House, and we never, you know, still and still to this day, we haven't uh, there's been no Israelite president, man. Okay, none at all. As a matter of fact, let's um, I think I got something for that too. Uh, in Amos, Amos chapter seven, verse seventeen, and it reads this: Therefore, therefore, thus say Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Thy wife shall be an harlot in the city, and thy sons, as thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword, and thy land shall be divided by line, and thou shalt die in a polluted land, and Israel shall surely go into captivity forth of his land. Okay, and that's a curse. Till this day, man, our women, our women are harlots, uh, riding the the the, the cock carousel. Hopping from men to men, being polluted. Our sons and our and, and our and our daughters are being killed. Our kids are being snatched up, organs organs harvested, for uh, and also being um sacrificed for evil ease uh, uh uh rituals. You know, until this day, we dying. We we're, we're we're being put to death in a polluted land. We've been taken from our land, and and, and brought forth to a polluted land, a wicked land, man. I don't I don't see you issues fit none of these curses that I'm bringing out, man. I don't see y'all fit none of these, man. Okay. Let's 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 go back to Deuteronomy 28, chapter 28, man. Let's let's get some more curses, man. <laughs> okay, let's go to verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fall with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thy hand. Okay, who did that happen to? You know, who did that happen to? In slavery. As soon as you have you have children, and your children come a certain age, they get sold to a different plantation. And furthermore, and, and right now in this kingdom, if you don't do things the way evil E tell you to do it, CPS come take your damn kids from you. Ah, <laughs> Is this happening to the to the ish community? I think not. Y'all don't fit these curses, man. So how in the hell can y'all be the people of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man? Oh man, oh man. Uh, let's jump down to verse. Uh, let's jump down to verse thirty six. The power shall bring thee and thy king, which thou shalt set over thee unto a nation, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. And there, and there shall thou serve other gods, wood and stone. Serving other gods, wood and stone. Okay, so what is what is those other gods, the wood and stone? Uh, the, 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 uh, the Roman Catholic, Catholic, the Roman Catholic churches, uh, so-called Jesus, J.C., the, the symbol of the cross, wood, and that and that that stone god, which is uh, Islam, which our people are are mainly into, man. And let's get something else to back that up, man. Let's get something else to back that up. Let's go to Jeremiah real quick, chapter sixteen. Let's back that up, man. All right, this is Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 13. Therefore, I will cast you out of this land into a land that ye know not, neither your, neither, neither ye nor your fathers, and there shall ye serve other gods day and night, where I will show you, well, I, shlaki, well, I, will, well, I will not show you 
Let me read that again. I'll butcher this. Lock it, Israel. Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 13. Therefore will I cast you out of this land into a land that ye know not, neither ye nor your fathers, and there ye and there shall ye serve other gods day and night, where I will not show you favor. Okay? I believe that, that backs up uh to Deuteronomy uh chapter 28, verse 36, man. We under the curses, man. We are under the curses. Okay, so I don't see why these 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 so-called celebrities is a, is apologizing, man, for, for for speaking the truth. Okay. Let's drop down to verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether the power shall lead thee. Okay? We, we've become a proverb and a byword, man. Our heritage has been taken away from us by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Let's see. I might have something else to line that up with. Let me see real quick, Yasharala. I might have something to line that up with. We've be we've become a prov a proverb and a byword, man. Okay. And furthermore, evil e you 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 changed everybody's uh biblical nationality so you can hide yourself, man. Okay. And let's line that up with uh Psalms chapter forty four, verse fourteen. We're gonna line up uh, line up uh Deuteronomy twenty eight verse thirty seven up with Psalms forty four and fourteen. Thou makest us a byword among the heathen, a shaking of the head among the people. Okay? That's what's happened to us, man. Okay? Let's drop down to verse... Uh, Deut let's go back to Deuteronomy chapter 28. Let's drop down to verse uh, 41. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. And that also falls back into uh, verse thirty-two, man. You know, you, you having children in 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 in, uh, in 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 these captivities and slavery, man. And as soon as they become to a certain age, uh, a wicked massa, sell them off to a different plantation, man. You don't even you don't even get to enjoy your kids, man. And then you know later on down the line, uh, you know from generations and generations on, you forget who you are, your parents and all that, man. You forget your heritage and everything, man. Okay, let's jump down to verse uh, verse 43. Deuteronomy chapter uh, 28, verse 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. Verse 44. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to them. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. Okay, all these other nations have have uh, surpassed the Israelites, man. We are we are we are at the bottom. Okay, even these celebrities, y'all still at the bottom too. Regardless of how much money y'all got, y'all still at the bottom, man. We are at the bottom. We can't lend to nobody. We the people are lending to us, man. We are struggling in everything that we do, man. Oh man, oh man. But yet, but yet we speak in hate speech saying that we're the true people of Yahweh Shin Yahweh man. Uh, verse 45, read on. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee, thou till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of thy power, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. And that's what happened, man. That has what's that that has happened. Okay. And furthermore, let's jump down to uh let's jump down to verse 48. Therefore, therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord Jehovah Bahashim Yahweh Shah so sent against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until, until he have destroyed thee. And our people are destroyed, man. And we go to our enemy 
Evil E for the want of all things for a driver's license. Social social security card, which is your your registration for you, for you being a slave. Your identification. Okay, for jobs, for clothes, for food. They own everything. Okay? So how in the hell does, 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 does the curses not fit us, man? And why are you why are you Negroes apologizing for speaking the truth, man? Y'all should have not said nothing, man. I'm not apologizing for shit. Fuck you, E. Alright, verse 56, dropping down to verse 50. Matter of fact, you know what's locked here? Drop I'm gonna so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna read verse 54 to 56 uh, all, all the way through. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother and now and to like and towards his wife of his bosom and towards the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. So-called black, so-called uh, Hispanic, so-called native and Seminole Indians. That sounds like us. Read on verse 55. So that he will not give to any of them of the flesh of his children whom he shall eat because he have nothing left left him in the siege and in the straightness wherewith thine enemies shall distress thee in all thy gates. It's talking about cannibalism, man. Cannibalism. And, that, and that's going to come back, man. Once once all, once all uh, once evil E, you know, uh, uh, manifests this food shortage and everything and shuts down everything completely. That's going to come back. Verse 56. The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the sole of her feet upon the ground. For delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil towards the husband of her bosom and towards her son and towards her daughters. Who does that fit? Why do you think you go? Why do you think we go through so much hell? With 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 the uh, with the so-called nigger woman and and uh, the so-called Hispanic and uh, Native and Central Indian woman, man. The curses, man. Okay, let's. Uh, I don't want this to be too much longer. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna drop down to verse sixty-six and I'm gonna read sixty-six and verse sixty-eight. This is verse sixty-six and it reads this: "And thy life shall." Hang in doubt before thee, and and thou shalt fear day and night, and shalt have no assurance of thy life. Okay, we don't have any assurance of our life, man. Every time you get you get pulled over, man, your heart just drops down drops down to you, to your feet, man. You wake up, mm, so lucky. You don't know if you're gonna be uh if you're gonna if you're gonna live to see this whole day, or e or even an hour of this day, or thirty or twenty minutes of this day, man. You have no no insurance of your life whatsoever, man. None. Okay. This, now this is the main one that that certifies that we are the children of Israel, man. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse sixty-eight. And Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh shall shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way there, by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. We ain't gonna see our holy land no, no more again, Jerusalem, Israel. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you, which means redeem you out of your captivity, redeem you out of slavery, man. Nobody else fits this but us. Okay? You devils, man. Nobody fits this but us, man. And furthermore, this this is also what happened too to us, man. Let me go to. I got a few more, then we're gonna close it out, man. I didn't want this to be too long, but let me let me get these last few. <clears throat> this is Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself, so discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. Okay? So it's foretold in the scriptures that the Israelites would discontinue from their heritage, man. Okay? And, and, and Baruch 
Uh, I'm not going to bring it out. I'm just going to quote it. Baruch chapter 2, verses 28 to 32. It, it, it's foretold that they're going to remember themselves in their captivity. That Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai is going to uh, awaken them, man. But you, you know, you, you ish just answer this for me. And I'm, this will be the last two. You got to answer this for me right here, man. Answer this for me right here. And 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 and, and let me know why why this this uh this does this this fits this this right here fits y'all. But the curses don't. Uh this is Revelations chapter two and verse nine. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. Okay, we going through massive hell, oppression. Okay, poverty, living in living in the, the poorest, lowest estates on 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 the Americas, man. Nobody lives worse than the twelve tribes of Israel, man. Nobody is treated as the twelve tribes of Israel, man. I know thy works and tribulations and poverty, but thou art rich, cause we we have we have the uh the the promises, man. Okay, we have everything that that y'all claim to have. We have it. Okay, it was promised to us. And I know the blasphemies of them which say they are Jews. The filthy, dirty, disgusting lies, man. And are not but the synagogue of Satan. I know thy works and tribulations and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Answer me that, man. Let's 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 jump to uh to, to Revelation chapter three. Because this is going to be the outcome. Of 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 all this, man. When when Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai sends Yahweh Shai back to to destroy these these wicked kingdoms, man. Revelations chapter three verse nine. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. Okay. Your lies, your lies are no more, and your witchcraft and your enchantments is no more. You know, uh, putting putting the people on 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 the earth to sleep, man. Everything's uh being uncovered, man. So Lord willing, this was edifying to the brothers and sisters, man. Stand firm, man, because we are the true people, man. There's no such thing. There's no such thing as anti anti uh Semitic. It's, there's no such damn word in the Bible. It's Shem. Shemitic, Shem, S H E M. And there are eight nations that are Shemites, man. Eight, not one, eight. Okay? Stop it, man. Okay, you damn devils, man. You are not the chosen people, man. How in the hell can I be anti anti me, man? Koholayim, <sighs> La, Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, Wa Abad Babal, Wa Abad Babal, Wa Abad Babal. Lord willing, this was edifying. Shalom.